What's up everybody? Back at you again with another UPS related video. I can't believe I have almost 700 subs on this channel. That's cool. Thanks for subscribing. I hope these videos are useful for you. Uh, so I have another little trick here that I think all of you need to know how to do something on the diet. So yeah, it's been about, I don't know, a year since we've gotten this thing and it started off really bad. It didn't work so good. The diet six was glitchy as heck, right? Well, over the, over the year, it's gotten much, much better. In fact, that's probably why I'm not really posting any videos. But the thing is, it still freezes up, it seems, at least once, maybe twice a day. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's around, I don't know, 1230. It does this, like, this, this lunchtime freeze up, takes a nap or whatever. It's like, what the heck? Every single day, it seems. So, yeah. So, the thing is, it's not the dyad itself, guys. It's really not the dyad that freezes up. It's the app. It's the UPS delivery app that is clunky and probably trying to transmit a bunch of data with all your deliveries or whatever it is with all these new pictures that it's taking and and it, it freezes up i think that's probably around the time of day that the servers the ups you know brown brown cloud in the sky you know starts sending all this data you know or whatever it is and the whole thing just freezes up so anyhow you don't need to reboot the whole dyad i used to think that you did that process, if you do that, it takes at least a minute or two. You got to reboot the whole thing, log back into the dyad, you know, open up the app, you know, log into the app, and then you know, reacquire GPS. All that kind of stuff takes about two minutes for me, and it's just like, ugh, what the heck? But you don't need to reboot the whole dyad. Let me show you what you need to do. You just need to close out the app itself, which is tricky, but you can do it. You can close out the app only, and then reopen the app log back into the app and it takes way less time. I would say maybe it takes a total of, I don't know, 30 seconds, something like that, 20, 30 seconds. So let me show you how to do it if you don't already know how to do it. I'm sure many of you do, but let me show those of you that don't how to do it. Okay, so here's the app, right? Um, so in Android, if you swipe up the, from the very bottom of the screen, like here, I'm just gonna swipe up with my thumb until, where is it? There, see that that little menu comes up, that little circle. I'll do it again. And there's a little square and then a little like uh, rectangle, or I'm sorry, a triangle. Well, that's like the Android navigation. So if you click on that square, that's gonna essentially minimize the app for us. It only does it for a second because the it gives you like an error message sometimes. It says like, IT, IT administrator doesn't give you see doesn't give you uh, access to the system. You know whatever. Um, so you only have a second. You literally have about a second to do what I'm going to show you what to do. Um, so you do that. You click on the square and then you just swipe to the left or, or the right. I think it would work to the right too. But did you see that? The, apps, the app is closed. The app is done. It's, it's, it actually closed out. And so you click on the app again and it's going gonna, it's gonna to reboot just the app. And I, I'm not going to show you when it opens back up again all the way because my uh, ID number is going to be there. But yeah, that's what you need to do. I'll, I'll try to show you one more time. Uh, it's a little tricky when you when you swipe up from the bottom with your thumb um, and try to try to bring that little uh, that little navigation menu up. Then it's it's sometimes it doesn't come up, and that's why a lot of people don't know about this. But um, but once you get that to pop up, you quickly click on that little that little square. <sighs> I'm sorry, there's a little fly. <laughs> I probably smell like crap. <laughs> you click on that little square. And then that's going to minimize the app. It's going to kind of like show you like that app and whatever apps may be open, which is how it works on an Android phone. Uh, but since the only app that's open is this UPS app, then that's the only one it's, it, that it kind of like minimizes real quick. Um, and then once it does that right away, just swipe to the left or to the right, and that's going to close it out. I'm going to try to show you one more time. And that's how you had, that's all you have to do, guys. Let me show you one more time. So, oh, sorry. Let me just uh, try not to show like customer information or whatever on this thing. It still, it's, it seems like it still has to acquire GPS before it'll do much of anything, but it only takes like, I want to say maybe 30 seconds total. Okay. Now we're back in business. Um, okay. So, so let me show you again. Okay. That's going to go away. I accidentally clicked on it already. So, okay. Let's say you're just on the app. You swipe up and it brings up that little menu, that little, that little triangle actually, no, wait, wait, wait. That little triangle is actually your back, a back button. Um, but you want to click on the square. Swipe up. Click on the little square. Oh, see, I didn't do it fast enough. I didn't do it fast enough. Oh, I did. No, I did. I did it just barely fast enough. The app is closed. All right. And then you just click on the app again, the app icon to open it up and it will reboot. And again, it's it's faster. It's definitely faster. That's all I wanted to show you guys today. Oh, here's the FedEx guy. What's up? <laughs> 
Ah, oh, gotta be friends with everybody out here on the route. All right, I think he's gonna say hi to me. I better go, but I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, take care.